Let's talk about crawling policies. Following characteristics make crawling very difficult. It's large volume, it's fast rate of change and dynamic page generation. These characteristics combine to produce a variety a wide variety of possible crawlable URLs. Behavior of a web crawler is the outcome of a combination of policies. There are selection policy, revisit policy, politeness policy, and parallelization policy. The behavior of a web crawler is the outcome of a combination of policies. A selection policy that states which pages to download. A revisit policy states when to check for changes to the pages. The politeness policy states how to avoid overloading websites. And the parallelization policy states how to coordinate distributed web crawlers. Let's discuss on each policy. Selection policy. As a crawler allows downloading download just a fraction of the web pages. It is highly described that the downloaded fraction contains the most relevant pages and not just a random sample of the web. Revisit policy. The web has a very dynamic nature and crawling a fraction of the web can take a really long time usually measured in weeks or months. By the time a web crawler has finished its crawl, many events could happen. These events can include creations, updates and deletions. Politeness policy. Crawlers can retrieve data much quicker and in greater depth than human searchers so they can have a crippling impact on the performance of a site. The cost of using web crawlers include network resources as crawlers require considerable bandwidth and operate with a high degree of parallelism during a long period of time. Server overload especially if the frequency of access to a given server is too high. Poor written crawlers which can crash servers or routers or which download pages they cannot handle. And personal crawlers that if developed by too many users can disrupt networks and web servers. Partial solution to these. A partial solution to these problems is the Roberts Exclusion Protocol, also known as the Roberts.txt protocol, that is a standard for administrators to indicate which parts of their web servers should not be accessed by crawlers. The standard does not include a suggestion for the interval of visits to the same server even though this interval is the most effective way of avoiding server overloads. Parallelization policy. A parallel crawler is a crawler that runs multiple processors in parallel. The goal is to maximize the download rate while minimizing the overhead from parallelization and to avoid repeated downloads of the same page. To avoid downloading the same page more than once, the crawling system requires a policy for assigning the new URLs discovered during the crawling process as the same URL can be found by two different crawling processors. Here are some examples of web crawlers. Crawl architectures for general purpose. 
Google Bot for Google search engine, Yahoo for Yahoo search engine, Web Fortin for IBM, ArcNode.net is a .NET web crawler. There are some open source web crawlers, Grub, Crawler 4J, GNU Widget. Different web crawlers have, have implemented using different languages. Googlebot using C++ and Python. Webfortin using C++. Crawler4j by Java. ArcNode.net using C Sharp. SQL 2000 and C. Following two slides contain a sample pseudocode of web crawling algorithm implemented in Java. The sample tries to respect the robot's execution standard, meaning that it avoids sites where it's unwelcome and the website can execute web crawlers from all or part of its file system by putting certain statements in a file called robots.txt. The following code extracts refer to the Java source code published in the following link. Methods used to implement the logic of the above source code. Search crawler used to search the web crawler Search is used to search in a new thread. Update states. Update the crawling status. Download page. Used to download page a page at given URL. Search string matches. Used to determine whether or not to search string. Summary of the web crawling algorithm in C++ Following code extracts refers to the C++ source code published in following link. Web crawl development in C++ Connection method is used to create connection. Send request is used to sending request. Get is used to get query. Post is used to post query. Write response to file is used to write answer into file. Benefits of web crawlers. It navigates the web automatically on demand. Its satisfaction from search, direct access to resources and easier browsability. It reduces network traffic in document space, resulting from search directed access. This is the end of our tutorial of web crawlers. Thank you.